I'm just about to reveal one of the coolest online businesses to start in 2023, so let's give it a try. And just to be clear, I'm talking about a niche copywriting agency. And I'm using that word because it doesn't help if you're just a generic copywriter who does everything. What you want to do is find a very specific field of activity and become the best at that specialize on that. And luckily for us, there is no shortage of niches when it comes to copywriting. We're talking about everything ranging from technical writing to creating articles, ghost writing, which is a major one, or even SEO, which stands for search engine optimization. Otherwise, you can focus on digital marketing or even product descriptions. Again, the possibilities here are endless. Now, when we're talking about creating an agency, here's what I mean. We are going to do drop servicing to a certain extent. And just like dropshipping, you don't actually need to do the work yourself. You're going to hire someone else to do the hard work. And you're just working as a middleman. I'm pretty sure you know how dropshipping works. Instead of you manufacturing those products and sending them over to the customers, you're going to get someone else, typically a supplier coming from China, to manufacture the products and ship them over to your customer's door. So you just get to keep a cut of the profits by being a middleman. And that is precisely how drop servicing works. But in this case, we're not talking about products, but we're talking about services, copywriting services to be more precise. As soon as you get an order, you're gonna have a whole team who is ready to do the work. You're going to outsource that work to freelancers. Let's just say that we are focusing on ghostwriting. Let me just type that in and hit enter. I'm looking for a freelancer on Fiverr who can help me with ghostwriting. And as you can see, there is no shortage of sellers. We've got over 16,000 different services right now, and some of them have thousands of reviews. I mean, look at this one. I will ghostwrite your book or ebook for $190. Well, it's actually a little bit higher than that, but this is for 2,000 words. Now guys, I gotta tell you, 2,000 words is far too little. If we're talking about a whole book or ebook, you may wanna look for the premium version which is 10,000 words, and in this case, they are gonna charge a lot more. How do I know that? Well, this seller has got 23 different orders in queue right now. They also have over 297 reviews, and keep in mind that not each customer will actually leave a review. But what's more impressive is that they managed to keep a perfect score of five stars out of five, and that is pretty significant. So not only do they get orders, but they are also doing a great job. And so the first way that you could set up your own copywriting agency would be by looking for these kind of freelancers who can do a great job, who have amazing reviews, but they are just on the rise. They are a rising talent as Fiverr calls them. In other words, you don't want freelancers who are already making thousands of dollars on these freelancing websites because they don't need you. They can already get their own clients by themselves. There's no need for them to pay you a commission. That's why it will take some time to actually find a team that works properly and that can also keep you a good percentage of the money. Again, there are a few different things to keep in mind. First off, you don't want these freelancers to rip you off. You want to make sure that they charge reasonable amounts. Once that is out of the way, you got to make sure that they need you. They are having trouble finding clients on their own, so it makes sense for them to partner up with you to get more clients. If their profiles are already top rated on Fiverr, if they're already getting hundreds and more hundreds of orders, they don't need you. So there's no need for the collaboration. There's just something to keep in mind. But out of 16,000 different services, chances are you will find a whole team. Apart from that, you got to spend some time picking the best option when it comes to your niche. You really want to spend some time considering whether or not you want to go for ghostwriting, search engine optimization, you want to focus on email marketing, for instance, which is another great niche, or just digital marketing, which is a massive field of activity. Or you may want to do something entirely different. Instead of focusing on these more popular categories, such as ghostwriting, you may want to look for more unique ideas such as writing product descriptions for Amazon products. That is a real thing and there's money to be made there. You see, most of these Amazon products that are listed for sale will have a comprehensive description attached to them. And that is how they rank up on search, by using all sorts of different keywords. You're gonna notice that most of the best sellers on Amazon have a very long title that uses a lot of different keywords and also a very detailed description that again makes use of keywords in order to rank up whenever people search for a similar item. And this can be the work of a copywriting agency. You can partner up with Amazon sellers that are doing this on a regular basis, that are constantly listing new products 
product and you can do their work. You're helping them get more reach, get better results by getting in front of more people with a clever use of words. And at the end of the day, it's a win-win situation for everyone. A very nice way to put it is that copywriting is the art of selling with words. And if you think about it, that's what you're doing here as well. You are selecting specific words to use for this product listing to make sure that it gets the most reach and makes the most money for your client. And the same thing is true for ghostwriting, email marketing, and all of the other ones. At the end of the day, you're focusing on making someone else more money so they can also pay you for your contribution. But now that we're here, here's the thing. Again, building a team is not impossible. It does take time, especially if you want to get a good price and you don't want these freelancers to rip you off but it is doable. If you want to save even more time, here's a more lazy way to do this. You see, instead of outsourcing the work to real people who may complain about certain projects, who may not be available at times, who may have delays and all that because personal problems arise every once in a while, what you can do is make use of artificial intelligence. And let me tell you something, AI is never going to complain about any deadlines. Now I'm talking about ChatGPT here. If you head over to openai.com and then you click on the try button, as soon as you head over to the portal where you can interact with the AI, you can start asking questions. And ChatGPT has got some insane capabilities. It can explain difficult concepts in simple terms. It's pretty good with creative ideas, but most significantly, it can help us with our content writing. But there is something to keep in mind here. Most of the times, if you ask ChatGPT to write a piece of content for you, that piece of content will fail the plagiarism test, which means that ChatGPT is basically gluing together bits of information that it collects from its database. So this is not original work. Here's what I mean. I'm just gonna ask you to write a short article about AI and let's see what it does. And as you can see, it started writing and it does a pretty good job if you ask me. Now I'm not gonna bore you by reading this whole text because that is pointless. But let me show you something else a little bit more interesting. If you connect to a plagiarism checker like qtext.com and you paste in your text, you're gonna notice that most of the times it fails the test. You don't have to take my word for it either. I'm just gonna copy that and paste it in here. Now let's click on check and wait for a couple of minutes. That is because ChatGPT was not created for content writing purposes. It's a language model, not a content writing tool. And for that reason, you cannot just ask it to do your work instead of you. That would be a pretty lazy approach anyway. However, what ChatGPT can actually do is improve your writing. And that's how we're gonna take advantage of it. Just think about it this way. Let's just say that you have set up your own copywriting agency. So you're outsourcing the work to freelancers from overseas whenever you get a new client. They're gonna take care of that work Work, they will complete the assignments and send you the text they created. What you can do next is head over to ChatGPT and ask it to improve it. You can ask ChatGPT to add some more humor, to make it a little bit more informal or formal, that is entirely up to you. You can ask it to make the text a little bit more dramatic or engaging. It can do all sorts of different things and we're actually gonna put it to the test. In the meantime, our plagiarism checker has done its job here. And as you can see, 41% of the text is plagiarized. So you cannot just use this piece of text as original work because it's not original. You might get in trouble for using it. But now let's just imagine a whole different scenario for a second. Let's say that you get a client who is asking for an article about artificial intelligence. What you're gonna do is get that assignment and pass it on to one of the freelancers you're working with. They're gonna do their job they will come up with an original piece of writing and then you want to send it over to ChatGPT for improvements. And that is literally going to be the cherry on top. It is going to make a huge difference. Let's just give it a try. For now, for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to use one of these paragraphs. As you can see, AI is being used in a wide range of industries and it goes on and names those industries. And it also talks about the things that AI can do. But what I'm going to try to do is ask ChatGPT to add some humor to that short paragraph. And let's see whether or not he can do a good job. Remember, this is a language model, so you want it to send questions in a very natural manner. Manner, as if you're talking to a real person. Can you add some humor to this text? And then I'm just gonna paste it in. Let's see what it does. AI is not only used to make serious decisions, but it can also bring some humor to our lives. Now, of course, I'm not gonna waste your time reading this whole text here. As you can see, I got two different variations, but you can always pause the video if you want to read it. Most of the times, ChatGPT will do an amazing job. Again, you can literally take any piece of text and ask it to make changes to it. You can even be a little bit more generic about your instructions. You can just ask it to improve it and it will even give you tips 
that will help you improve your text. And so as you can see, it's not only about working with talented freelancers. That's a major part, but working with the right tools is also just as important. And with the help of artificial intelligence, things have become significantly easier. It is actually scary what AI can do. But that's the thing about it. Instead of being afraid that it is going to replace your job, you can learn how to use it properly and take advantage of it in order to become even better at the job you're doing. That's it for now, and thanks for watching.